Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I am here to break some records with you guys. So I have a sneak peek unboxing of one of Diamond Art Club's new releases this weekend. And I mean it when I say we're breaking some records. <laughs> this kit here is going to be the new longest kit that Diamond Art Club has ever released, including archived kits, discontinued kits, all the things. And I am beyond excited. So this kit is called Dragon Brigade and it is by the one and only Randall Spangler. And I know this piece is huge and so you're not getting any of those details with what I'm showing you right now, but we're gonna get into this box and I will have a better look at this original artwork for you shortly, but take a look. Oh my gosh, this box is literally so heavy. <laughs> it's like falling out of my hands. Size here, 76 inches by 20 inches, which is 193 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters. This is literally going to be taller than me. <laughs> I cannot wait. I am beyond excited. Um, so this kit along with the other new releases are coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, September 16th. And I just have this hunch that this kit is going to sell out quickly. So you're going to want to set those alarms. It's 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern for the general release time. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, uh, you do get an early access window and that email or text usually goes out 30 to 45 minutes before the general release time. So anyway, this kit's gonna have square diamonds. So we're gonna get max amount of detail here. Diamond Art Club's boxes have this blue branding if it's a square drill kit. And then on the back, there's some info about how to diamond paint and your kit contents. And then on the side here, you guys, look, this is so, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not playing this up for the camera. This is so heavy to lift. <laughs> I'm like, I can't, not one handed anyway. Uh, then there's a QR code on the side that if you scan it, you will get 10% off your purchase. Now, if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and if you wanna save 20% off your first purchase, I invite you to use a code that, it's an affiliate code of mine um, and it's my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E and the number 20. And I may make a small commission that always goes right back into my channel, but please do not feel obligated. There are plenty of other discount codes out there like the one I just showed you and you're gonna see some in the box itself. All I say is please take advantage of one of these discount codes so that you're not paying full price. Now we're gonna have a toolkit in here and if I'm guessing right, yeah, okay. So this technically just by width could have fit in one of their smaller boxes, but because I think there's gonna be two giant packs of diamonds in here, actually it's like really stuffed in there. Come on, okay. <laughs> I think they just by necessity had to put it in one of their largest boxes. This is unreal. Maybe three packs of diamonds because it goes all the way from the scent to the scent sticking out the end. Oh my gosh. So there's our canvas and diamonds there. Uh, let me, before we get into that and show you that amazingness, let me show you what else is included here on outside the, the box and whatnot. So here I've got a toolkit and it's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. I have done diamond paintings before with exclusively the toolkit that came with it. So it is genuinely very, very doable. But with a kit this of this scope, you might wanna make some upgrades <laughs> just to make, make it a little more comfortable or easier. You're gonna get a pen and squishy, the color on those will vary. You're gonna get some thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. You're also going to get uh, some wax, a couple of plates of this pink heart wax and this caddy. There is a thin plastic film you want to make sure that you peel off before you try to load up your pen. We've got a tray that also comes with a tray stopper. You can stop the diamonds from sliding out there. Handy little inclusion. And then we've also got, oops, <laughs> a little minder wants to stick there. I'll show that to you in just a moment. Uh, we do get a pair of tweezers. The ends are quite quite sharp, so do keep that, that cover on. And then we've got ooh, a bag of baggies if you want to store your leftover diamonds in. You're gonna need a few more than that for this kit. <laughs> You're gonna get a roll of washi tape. I have a video demoing how and why to use uh, washi tape on your canvas. The print that you'll get on the one in your toolkit from Diamond Art Club is gonna vary. And then we also have a cover minder, which uh, these have magnets on the back and you can use it to hold back the plastic cover of your, of your kit. And they also are really cute. I haven't seen this one before. Uh, the style on those is gonna vary from kit to kit as well. 
Now also included is this smaller logbook sticker. I promise I'll get you a better look at the original artwork here in just a minute. Hang it, hang it, hang in there. <laughs> but I like using this on my paper logbook once I start working on a kit, because uh, I like that it has the artwork and all the stats and the name and stuff. Uh, some people put it on the side of the box to help organize their stash a bit, or you can find something else crafty to do with it. Now let's take a look at this monster. <laughs> um, I just, I am already just, I, I have no idea how I'm gonna pack this back up and fit it in that box. I feel like it's just gonna burst right out. <laughs> uh, so, okay, I will say up front, obviously, I'm not going to be able to fit this whole thing in frame. Give me a moment to kind of unroll this and take a look at different parts of it with you. And then I promise in just a minute or two, I will insert a picture of the entire canvas in frame so you can see it. But for the moment, I'm gonna unroll it as we go and you can take a look at some different uh, parts of the painting. Let me see. Okay, I zoomed you out so you can definitely see it all the way top to bottom as we go. I wonder if we'll kind of split this into thirds a little bit, how many emergency vehicles they are. I am so happy right now. <laughs> so I have two little boys and they have both always really, really been into vehicles and fire trucks have always been the favorite. As we're looking, by the way, make sure you're taking a look at some of these book titles. <laughs> fire Station Cookbook, Fun in the Firehouse. There's some other references I saw um, in the render. What's that say? hot something i can't tell can you tell on the camera hot suit suit i don't know i don't know um anyway so i have been excited about this kit since oh do you see an eye looking at you <laughs> uh, i'm so excited about this since it was in a round of voting in the Diamond Art Club VIP group quite a while back. And I was like, oh, this is huge. This would have to be enormous, but oh my gosh, my kids and I would be so excited. And so I snapped this one up for a sneak peek this week. Oh my gosh, I can't, we're still going. We are still going. Um, Dragon Station number three, Fire and Rescue. Oh, here we go, the Goblet of Fire. <laughs> all of these fun little details. Now with Randall Spangler's artwork, of course we have these draglings that are really characteristic. We made it to the end, we made it to the end. And then these like chocolate chip cookies. And I think the eye that we saw over there was probably a cat's eye. Um, and then I just, oh my gosh, wouldn't this be such a cute companion piece to Train of Dreams? Train of Dreams is another like really long Diamond Art Club and Randall Spangler kit. This is even bigger though. Like I said, this breaks the record for the longest kit the Diamond Art Club has ever released. The previous record was held by um, a uh, discontinued kit called Minion Love. There's um, the gals, Julia and uh, Catherine, who do the collages in the Diamond Art Club VIP Facebook group have a graphic where they're tracking which kits are the longest, which are the largest, and which have the most diamonds. And I don't, or most colors? I'm trying to remember what all there were, but um, uh, it's all in that graphic if you're in, if you're in that group. I'm sure they'll update it with this one, uh, but I don't know if this is gonna also be like the one with the most diamonds now. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But anyway, let me show you what else was included. Oh, no, 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 wait, first, first, first. Let me go ahead and insert a picture for you here so you can see the whole canvas and frame, which I'm gonna have to get really creative to be able to get a picture of this somehow. Uh, obviously, you're not gonna see the level of detail as you can when we're looking at it in kind of these thirds like we have been, but that's, that's all of it. <laughs> And then if I can, I'm also gonna insert a picture here of me holding the canvas so you can see how it is literally taller than I am as well. So just a little bit of, little bit of scale here. <laughs> now let me go ahead and show you what else was included in this kit. So you're gonna get a pamphlet that has a thank you note from the founder on the front and some helpful info inside, including um, the kit contents, a beginner video, which I have one as well that I'll have linked below, uh, a link to the VIP Facebook group, which you've heard me reference a few times now, where there is um, a voting on images for them to, to produce and um, uh, helpful like graphics and, and stuff like that. So feel free to join that once you made your first purchase. Then there's some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you guys, and then some tips and tricks written out as well, along with another discount code. And then QR codes for the mobile app, which you do get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Uh, there's also this sticker sheet and here is the as promised a slightly better look at the original artwork it is you know it's a big one so uh there's only so much detail it's really going to show up just in frame in general but that gives you a sense for 
for this artwork, we've got like the different emergency vehicles. We have like Dewey and Dagmar, our little green draglings. I don't remember the name of our blue dragling. And then I don't know if this is a cat eye or a different animal back here. And then all the books with all the references and just absolute cuteness, cuteness. Now the sticker sheet, there is the title Dragon Brigade by Randall Spangler, a spot to write your start and end date. And then uh, diamond shape is square and the size there, the record breaking 193 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters. Over here's a set of pre-cut stickers for you guys. And um, these labels are really handy. You can use them if you kit up your diamonds, which is where you, you cut open the bags that the diamonds are in and put them into baggies or storage containers. I like to use storage containers myself, and I do use these labels to then label those. Uh, the color code system you see here is the DMC color code system. Most diamond painting companies use this system, but in Diamond Art Club's numbering system, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond color called an AB, and we're gonna have five of those. I'll tell you more about those and show you some when we're looking at the diamonds in just a bit. And then if you look at the end of your color list, sometimes you will see uh, a color code that has a letter at the beginning. In this case, there's one with the letter Z. That means that we are going to have a fairy dust color as well. So I'll tell you more about those diamonds once we get into this. Now I'm going to take you on, I'm going to take you on a little tour of this canvas. Uh, we're, I'm going to find a way to at least show you some of the features here. <laughs> Let me do this uh, hopefully an easy way. Uh, we'll just, we'll work a little bit backwards from my sort of usual how I go through these just because of how it's already unrolled but you're going to get a legend on each side of your canvas the bottom right and you'll see when, when we get to the top left I have to be honest with you a canvas this size I'm going to strongly 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 recommend that you not operate exclusively off of the legend otherwise you're going to be having to go back and forth a lot especially when you're in the middle I recommend taking advantage of the sticker labels that were included and referring to those or putting those on your storage containers instead at the bottom right, there's also a note about the lifetime warranty. And as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of, of your kit, you're covered under that warranty. Now let's kind of go back. And this is how long it's taking us to get to the middle. <laughs> uh, this is right above like this second fire truck is the middle mark. And there is some branding at the top for Diamond Art Club. Do it makes you sparkle. And then as we keep going, as I'm rolling this, the canvas backing is so, 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 so soft and plush. Diamond Art Club um, has really nice canvas material and glue material as well. Um, yeah, it's it's really, really soft. They use poured glue on their canvases. You can usually tell if there's a clear plastic cover like this, and it's very, very sticky. And then there is this legend, like I mentioned at the top left. And at the bottom left, there's um, info about the kit itself, including the size and the licensing. So the copyright Randall Spangler means that Diamond Art Club both has the permission of the artist and is compensating the artist for the use of their artwork. That means the artwork is legally licensed. And art theft is really common in the crafting world. And so I'm, I'm all about companies that are doing right by artists. And Diamond Art Club is one of them. All of their work is completely licensed. Now, the one thing I did miss is here in the middle, <laughs> If we keep, if we unroll and go back, uh, there is info down here about their socials and there's another discount code. Um, and if you follow their socials, that's how you can kind of stay up to date with new releases and stuff like that. This is, you know, a really unique kind of unboxing. So I'm not gonna try to make it look exactly like my unboxings in the past. What I do wanna do is I am gonna attempt to do a measurement on this because I, I usually do this with my canvases, with my unboxings. And I just wanna see, I'm gonna see one, if I can actually manage to measure this without like having a ton of trouble. Um, <laughs> I think that that's gonna be a tall order. Um, and and just you know for posterity let's see let's see is this really is this really record breaking okay try not to pull on my table runner trying to keep this relatively in the correct spot it's going to be a rough estimate okay you guys <laughs> well let's see if this is about the center and we're at you know around 97 centimeters yeah okay we're supposed to get to 193 for the uh the um the total, okay, so this is 100, is right at that little, that line of sevens. So I know 100, we started there. Oh my gosh, I'm like not rolling this up back up as I go, and it's just, it's ridiculously big. <laughs> Starting right back up here. Goodness, okay. And the 50 is right there. Cause it's fun. Okay, yeah, so we're almost at 193. So 
I, it's like 192 and a half and I've got to be honest I've got to think that anything that I was short was completely user error so we're going to call that true to size that massive 193 centimeters and we're at 51 top to bottom on the nose so we are true to size now let's go ahead and take a look at the diamonds together let me grab those and then we will go back and we will look at some of the areas of the canvas a little more close up as well as I'll tell you where the special diamonds are going to go to so we do have two packs of diamonds here i'm gonna take a look at the color spread uh and these are jam-packed full like i almost want to go ahead and get a third like a, a gallon size ziploc bag or something to put some of these in and just there's space in the box for it so we'll see oh both of them by the way we'll have a sticker that says dragon brigade and this one says two dash one and this one says two dash two so it's like there's just letting you know there's two packages and this is the first one and so on and so forth so take a look all right there's the first color spread and right off the bat we have this nice cherry red color probably in the fire trucks and some greens how many colors did I say this had 61 61 colors now these are square diamonds like I mentioned earlier diamond art club makes all their diamonds in house their squares and their rounds and they're they're both really nice quality they're really shiny and uh, pretty uniform in size and shape uh their their square diamonds are pretty faceted as well they have like 20 ish facets i think as of the latest round of upgrades which was maybe a year ago now um they have a really pretty effect you guys here's our first special drill 108 this is a nice kind of olive green color and this is an ab color so ab stands for aurora borealis and just like the northern lights have a gorgeous color shift effect these diamonds have an iridescent coating on the top that is really really beautiful really really extra sparkly and draws your eye to the areas it has been charted and um can just have a really bold and striking effect so we have two bags of this particular ab color 108 and like I said, I am going to show you guys where those colors go. So, so stay tuned for that. We're just going to look at all the diamonds first. All right. Here we have our second. There were five AB colors in total. This is our second one, 141. It's a white AB. You'll see this in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits. It's a really good neutral, and it's really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Kind of a rainbow iridescent effect on the top. Not a lot of the tops of the diamonds in that section. There you go. You can see down here. Oh, and here we go, you guys, Z762. Now these diamonds, these are fairy dust diamonds. And if I zoom you in, you can see, okay. These diamonds have a really fine glitter coating on the top. Diamond Art Club kind of came up with this idea. It's like someone brushed a thin silver mica powder on the tops of these. It's a really subtle effect, but to be honest, you guys, don't tell anyone, but I like fairy dust diamonds better than I like, I don't know what that little bit is there, um, Better, a little bit better than I like ABs. They're gorgeous. It's a really glittery, shimmery effect once they're on the canvas. And you'll see these in a ton of different colors. I really, really love these a lot. So we just have the one fairy dust color and it's this kind of light, light, light gray. So we've seen two of our ABs and one fairy dust. Make that three ABs, 128. That is a pale, pale pink AB. Oh, I like that one. There's probably just a tiny handful of those. I wanna make sure I don't miss it when we're looking at the canvas. I might need your guys' help. Here's our fourth AB, 133. It's a bright orange. Love that. Another one, I might need your guys' help finding it. <laughs> okay, so I think that was four of our ABs. Oh, you know what? I see our fifth AB in here. Nice bluish gray, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. That's our whole first bag. Now this is our second bag of diamonds. I'll try to keep these somewhat organized. <laughs> All right. So we start off with some browns and blues. I'm trying not to spend too, too long on these. I know a lot of you guys really do appreciate seeing the colors, but I just know that this sneak peek unboxing in particular is going to be a long one and I'm trying not to, I don't want to lose any of you. Some 310, a couple bags of 310, some more browns. Ooh, 
do some dark greens, 935 and then 934. So we'll probably have some nice shading going on there because they're so close. Some more blues. 823 and 939 are both darker shades of blue. A lot of 939 in this one. Some more blues. Nice purple and red at the end. This kid has some really pretty jewel tones. And then this little straggler pack of diamonds. Aww. So some browns. And then here's our fifth and final AB 101 is a grayish blue color. A light grayish blue color. More blue than gray. I just, I, my eyes see a tiny bit of a gray hue to it. And then some purples and beiges to round us off. So now what I'd like to do is I'm going to bring you a little bit closer to the canvas and you'll get to see up close some of the details as well as at the same time I'm going to be uh, talking through where the special drills go. Also, I was just looking at this and just saw, look at this. Is this supposed to be like a fire hose, like a water, little water dragon? There's a few. Oh, no, no, no. This is smoke from a candle. Okay. So there's another dragon right here. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. And those are both smoke bits that are coming from the candle in the middle. <gasps> I wonder if there's more over on the other side. Yep, there are. Okay, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, focus Katie, focus Katie. I can't, I'm too distracted by this because <laughs> it's so pretty. All right, so let me zoom you in, let me bring you closer. Okay, so we're starting at the bottom right corner. We do have some of the red AB right here, two of that gray fairy dust color right there, and then some of the gray fairy dust over here. Uh, sprinkle into this little like these little ornaments these little baubles are something you see in a lot of randall spangler pieces and then we have let's see the number three that was the pale pink ab we have a line of it right here sorry that we're shaking a bit um some fairy dust the gray fairy dust as well as the white ab lines right here and then the white ab and the bluish gray ab here some of the same white and blue ab's in here and here and around here so just highlighting the shiny parts of the fire truck i feel like and then if, if we keep coming over here, don't worry, we'll go up too. Uh, I see the pink AB and more of the pink AB in here and here and the gray fairy dust and the white AB here. Of course, our dragon scales are going to have the green AB that we saw. So there's a highlighting green AB kind of along the top. The light green, the lightest green you're seeing is our green AB. And that's just going to make the dragon scales, I feel like, have that glinty effect, like where you'd imagine light glinting off of scales, I suppose. <laughs> uh, the bell here has some white ABs <laughs> to make it shine. And then uh, this part on the fire truck, is this where the hose is wrapping around, has some gray fairy dust. That's that lightest color. And then in the book spine over here, we have the green AB as well as the gray fairy dust colors. And we have some of the green AB over here in this book spine, dragon fire. And then a couple of white ABs sprinkled up in these uh, embellishments at the tops of the books. And if we move over, these also have some white ABs and green ABs in the little jewels at the tops of the books. We have some of the blue gray AB uh, around here and then some white and green ABs right here. Again, trying not to, to lose you guys in this one, because I know this is a big piece and a long unboxing. Um, but for those that are curious, <laughs> uh, tons of the gray fairy dust color in the lightest colors of the book. That's gonna give that a nice kind of highlighted effect. And if we come on down, <laughs> our little dragon in the truck, fire truck here, uh, has some gray fairy dust colors here, and then actually has that blue gray AB highlighting, similar to how the green AB highlighted in our green dragons. We have some of the gray fairy dust, um, just giving a little bit of shimmer to the highlighted parts here, as well as here and on the headlights. And then we have more of the blue gray AB in like this area, this outline and the outlines here and here, and some of the lines down here. And then the cookies, each of the chocolate chips have a little gray fairy dust dotted throughout. You guys can see we actually have some color blocking in this piece too. Um, big chunks of white ABs right here. I don't see any red, oh, I see a little line of red ABs right here, just here. And uh, so maybe this, maybe this won't take too, too long. I very badly want to work on this one, but I just, I trying to find the time for it is going to be a job in and of itself. Um, we have the gray fairy dust colors. We have a line of it here in the light gray. And then let's keep looking. Okay. We have the grayish blue AB in the lightest part of the spine of this particular book. And we have some white ABs dotted. Oh, can't see dotted in these jewels as well as this jewel and some green ABs 
And then here again, white and green ABs. <laughs> and this little critter back here, uh, white ABs. And then a line of white ABs here, more gray fairy dust. I'm rolling and unrolling as we go. This is a fun challenge. Uh, so the lettering here and the symbol here are all white ABs, as are these whites that you see here and here. We have a line of the blue gray ABs, more of the white ABs here and here. Where are all those red ABs? I guess it wasn't a huge bag, but I know we had red AB in this kit. I just am making sure I'm not overlooking it. Number four, I don't really see it in these fire trucks. There was just that little line over here. Okay, well, maybe it was a small bag. That's totally fine. Um, like I said, just concerned that I am overlooking it. Okay, we have some green ABs in here and here. Sorry about that. And then, oh, let's go this way. Okay. Green ABs here at the lightest part of this book, a line of gray fairy dust, some gray fairy dust in this tire wheel, gray fairy dust here and here, a lot of that gray fairy dust. Um, a little bit of pink ABs, two of them each in each of these little spots. Over here too, it's a little bit out of frame. These little symbols here have white ABs in them. Uh, white AB, pink AB, white AB. And let's move up. There's a whole line of gray fairy dust right here. And then, okay. Oh, you know what? It wasn't a red AB, it was an orange AB. Okay, so my bad about that one. The one that I was telling you was a cherry red AB. No, 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 that's an orange AB. That's one we really only had a tiny bit of. There is no red AB in this kit. Here's what happened is I looked at this out of the corner of my eye and I, my eye saw that as more red than orange. My apologies. I'm not gonna unroll it and go back. <laughs> we'll be here forever. Uh, and I don't, I don't wanna keep you guys, I'm sorry, as much as I love this kit, I feel bad. But uh, we have a bunch of green ABs going up the spine of this book. And as, as always, we have in the center of these um, these little jewel embellishments. We have some white ABs to give them a little bit of glint, glint and glimmer. We have some pink ABs right here. Oh, I missed in the candle. I'm so sorry. Okay, the candle has white ABs in the center of the flame and then an outline of orange ABs here. And then there's some white ABs and then next to it are some gray fairy dust. Actually, a ton of gray fairy dust in that candle. The gray was a really, really light gray. Keep that in mind too. Here is a little bonus smoke dragon from the candle. <laughs> I love those little details, it's so fun. We've made it to the top left corner, you guys. We have some white ABs sprinkled in here as well as some of the bluish gray ABs. The leaves have highlights in green ABs. Over here, the spine of this book has some green ABs. And uh, we have a little bit of white AB in this jewel, um, some white AB here on our, our draglings uh, ear, as well as in the center of his eyes and some gray fairy dust, white gray fairy dust, uh, some blue gray AB, and then of course the green AB highlighting on the dragon's draglings scales. Then we have some white AB in the fire truck, as well as this lettering and number uh, highlighting on these baubles down here. And then uh, we do have some of the gray fairy dust highlighting in this section, as well as on the wheel well here, and then uh, some gray fairy dust and orange AB and green AB over here in these baubles. Holy cow, the special drills all throughout this giant, giant kit. Let me bring back up real quick. So this kit is epic and is gonna be an equally and epic undertaking and is not for the faint of heart, but I think that it is going to be ridiculously gorgeous and breathtaking once it's complete. Just seeing something of this scale and scope, um, I am amazed. I'm so, 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 so excited that Diamond Art Club did not say, no, we're not gonna make this one because it's just as gonna be too big. Um, I love it and I think that it's just, <laughs> I, I'm speechless. Uh, Randall Spangler's artwork, which I've done a few of his uh, from Diamond Art Club, really does look amazing with Diamond Art Club's rendering style. They're an amazing match. And so it would it would take a really unique project that I'd be willing to take on that is 193 centimeters in length. And this is one of them because I'm so confident it's gonna turn out in stunning fashion <laughs> and that it's gonna be rendered beautifully. Diamond Art Club hand charts all of their kits and is really meticulous about it. And this just everything that I can see, the level of detail and the special drills and everything about it just looks amazing. It looks top notch. And I really badly want to work on this one just sort of in honor of my kiddos who love all things fire trucks and emergency vehicles. I, 
I'm, I, I can't believe that this is finally here and I'm so happy. So anyway, you guys, just to recap, the name of this one is Dragon Brigade and it, along with the other new releases, are coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, uh, September 16th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, be sure that you have those alarms set. And if you are in the Diamond or Ruby tier, the rewards program, be checking your emails that, and whatnot from you know 30 to 45 minutes before the general release time. So let me know what you think in the comments. Are you all about this record-breaking kit? Or are you like, no, nah, I'm just gonna enjoy this from the sidelines. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. Be sure you check out my fellow content creators for more sneak peeks for the new releases this week. Thanks to you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. And hey, if you guys want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content, I would love to have you here. Feel free to subscribe and you can hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. Otherwise, I'm going to let you go. I hope that you have a day that is as amazing as you are and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.